Greetings and welcome to Pop Culture Beasts Halloween Horror Picks, the show where I recommend off-the-beaten-path horror movies for your Halloween movie night. I'm your host, Ryan Stockstead, and today we're going to talk about a late entry to the 80s slasher cycle that also takes place on Halloween night. hack o lantern 1988, also known as Halloween Night. It was directed by Jag Mundra, who had already made a number of films, including the 1987 slasher movie, Open House. It's my mom. Ever since my father died on Halloween night, this day seems to really affect her, you know? He was an Indian filmmaker, and even though hack o lantern was made primarily for American audiences, he still managed to infuse it with a little bit of Indian culture, most noticeably in a Kali-referencing, Bollywood-esque musical dream sequence. The movie stars Gregory Scott Cummins, Katina Garner, Carla Barron, Jeff Brown, Patricia Christie, and High Pike, who in this movie plays one of the grossest creeps in all of late 80s horror. It's just that some strange things have been going on lately. Grave robbings, satanic rituals. Devil, you say? <laughs> well, what's wrong with raising a little hell? You know, I can't sit around and jaw with the law. See you in hell, Roger. Not only does this grandpa worship the devil, but he raped his own daughter on her wedding night, no less, producing a son slash grandson named Tommy. This is something very, very special. It's just for you. Something for me? Because I'm special? Yes, Tommy. Because you are very, very special. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> now that Tommy is all grown up, he's channeled a lifetime of Grandpa's satanic grooming into an unhealthy interest in the occult, much to the horror of his mother and two siblings. Rice, Tommy. Now I know why Mom's so worried about you spending time with Grandpa. Tommy's brother, Roger, is the all-American boy next door, and a cop no less, while sister Vera is trying to make it with her nerdy boyfriend before the big Halloween party. You and Brian have been dating for a month already, and you still haven't done it yet. Oh, I have a hunch. That's gonna be changing real soon. How soon? Well, I've been thinking. No. <laughs> well, all you guys are decorating this afternoon for the party. Brian and I could play trick or treat. <laughs> But someone in this movie is running around in a rubber mask and killing people. Throw in the brooding matriarch of this dysfunctional family nightmare, as well as a bunch of boyfriend and girlfriend characters. And this whodunit is ready for Halloween. And let's not rule out Grandpa's devil cult. They're celebrating Halloween with a special ritual of their own. We welcome the night. We welcome the night. We honor the master. We honor the master. The hour of Satan has arrived. 
Let us share the blood. Share the blood. All of it culminates at the big Halloween party, where one devil masked killer fights another devil masked killer, leading up to the big climactic reveal. And by the way, this Halloween party is insane. There's the aforementioned murders, yes, but also a heavy metal band, a snake twirling belly dancer, a stripper, and a terrible stand up comic. <laughs> now the hunters are coming all around him. He's really scared now. I love this silly little movie. There isn't a lot of gore for a slasher flick, but the kills are still bloody and, most importantly, creative. You know those men like them hard and firm, so tighten it up. Plus, this movie is overflowing with nudity, and most of it is full frontal. If that's what you're looking for, you won't be disappointed. So come and get it, you devil. Come on. Don't you want to see my costume? You're gonna love it, you know. If you're looking for a masked slasher movie this Halloween, or and a cult shocker that also takes place on Halloween night, my recommendation is hack -O lantern Oh! Oh! Tommy, what did I tell you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! You're... Oh. Tommy, we have to wash that. But Mom, I like the taste of blood. A handful of people in this movie also worked on Mark Pirro's cult classic, A Polish Vampire in Burbank which could make for an interesting double feature. It would also play really well alongside 1983's Mortuary, Evil Laugh, Necropolis, Haunted Ween, or Satan's Little Helper. <laughs> the good folks at Massacre Video did the world a favor when they released the 30th anniversary limited edition DVD Blu-ray combo pack back in June of 2017. Those of you who originally saw this on VHS back in the day will be blown away by how beautiful this looks. Definitely pick this up. Tommy, you can't do this. That demands a sacrifice. You must share the blood. Tommy, please, you can't do this. Do it, Tommy! You must prove yourself to the master! For God's sake, Tommy! I am sister! Thanks for watching Pop Culture Beasts Halloween Horror Picks. I'm your host, Ryan Stockstead. This season, we're devoting all Monday episodes to part two horror sequels. So be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe right here on the Pop Culture Beast YouTube channel for new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right up through Halloween. Thanks again for watching. Watch horror movies. I'll see you next time.